Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. In this lecture today, we are going to solve another problem based on projection of lines for third quadrant. When one line is traveling from the first quadrant to third quadrant or from any quadrant to third quadrant. So let us read the question and write the given for that. So the question reads, the front view of line 80 mm long. So 80 mm long itself gives us the data about the true length. So given, I will write it here. So true length is 80 mm measures 60 mm. So I will read the question, the whole line again. So the front view of line AB which is 80 mm long measures 60 mm. So the front view will measure 60 mm. Front view 60 mm. Next line, the end A is 15 mm in front of VP and 10 mm above HP. So end A is 15 mm in front of VP and 10 mm above HP, again in the first quadrant. So my A dash would be, HP is associated to the front view, so 10 mm above HP will be for A dash and A would be, so A is the top view which is associated with VP, so A would be 15 mm in front of VP. Now the next line, the end B is in third quadrant, so our end B is in third quadrant. Draw the projection of lines if the line is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So the line, if the line is inclined at 30 degree to HP and inclination with HP is always associated with the front view. So an angle associated with HP or the, uh, any angle which is associated with HP is for true length and also HP gives us the data about the front view, so this would be theta. So inclination with HP is always theta. Now the next is we have to find the inclination of line with VP, that is our to find would be phi. So this is, is the given data. So now let us solve the problem. So first how will we, what will we do is, we will put all the given data and plot all the given data onto this line. So this is our reference line, so with respect to this reference line, we will plot the given data. So the first of all, I have been provided with the data of A dash and A, so that we can mark directly, so first of all, we will do that. So my A dash is, now this is first quadrant, so my front view would be above xy and top view would be below xy. So A dash is above xy, that is 10 mm and 15 mm in front of VP. So this would be, these are my two points and these are the locus for those points. So this is my A dash and this is my A. I will write the dimensions here. So this is 10 and this is 15. So all the dim, we are considering all the distances in the drawing are in mm. So here I have the locus for A dash and I have the locus for A. So now next given data is true length, but true length we can't mark directly. But now if you see that theta is the angle associated with the true length in the front view. So we can club them both together and find the true length and where it should be. So here, as I know, my 
quadrant and B is in third quadrant. So, a, and end A is in first quadrant. So, here for the first quadrant my front view is above x y and my top view is below x y and for third quadrant my top view is always above x y and my front view is below x y. So, this theta from the front view should go to the front view. So, we would draw the angle towards this front view that is below x y. So, I will keep my protector here and I will mark the distance, mark the angle of 30 degree towards this front view from the front view and I will draw a line. I will draw a line here. So, this is my line and this is angle theta. So, this is theta. Now, as this is the line where my front, uh, where my true length should be because theta is the angle associated with the true length. So, I will measure my true length that is 80 mm and I will mark it on this angle. So, now this point is the first point on the locus of B dash. Why B dash? Because this is the front view what we are getting. So, true length. So, this would be A dash B 1 dash because that is the name for the true length. Once we have our point, we would draw, draw the locus. So, I will draw a locus. So, this line would be the locus of B dash and this distance is my true length. this line is my true length. Now, one more data is given that is the front view. So, my front view will also lie on locus of B dash. So, I will take the distance 60 on my compass. So, let us say this is Sixty on my compass, and I'll mark this distance on locus of B dash, and this would be my point for front view. That is A dash B dash, and I'll join it to get my front view. So this is my front view, and this is my true length. Now what we have to find? We have to find the top view and true length in the top view. So, basically I have to find the locus of top view. So, now we will go to the uh, procedure. So, if I have true length of top view, I drop that to get my elevation length and I rotate it to get my front view. And if I have true length of front view, I drop that to get my plan length and I rotate that to get my top view. So, we will follow this. So, now if you see what I have, I have true length in the front view, I have front view and that is it. So, from true length of the front view, if I drop I should get my P L. And where should be my PL? My PL should be on locus 
of A. So, this is my locus of A that is the line passing through point A. So, my P L would be there and how do we get P L by dropping the line of true length on the front view. So, let us say this is my true length in the front view. So, if I drop this line the locus of A I would get my P L and this point would be from B 1 dash I would go to B 1. This is my B 1 and that this length here is my P L. So, once I have my P L what I will do I will rotate it to get my top view, but still I do not have a locus I do not know till where to rotate. Now, let us see what else do we have. So, I have front view and if I rotate front view I would get my E L and where is my E L located? It is on the locus of A dash. So, locus of A dash is the line passing through A dash. So, if this is my locus of A dash then I rotate my front view and I would get this point on the line passing through A dash and this distance would be my elevation length. So, this is B 2 dash. Now, B 2 dash. Now, I have E L. So, if I drop E L, I would get my true length of top view and top view is above x y. So, I will drop E L above x y. So, I will drop my E L above x y because it is in third quadrant that is the top view should be in the third quadrant and we get true length of top view from E L when we drop E L that is why we should drop it above x y. Now, I will take my true length on the compass let us say this and from A that is the point in the top view, I will mark that distance on the dropped line. Now, as I have this point, this would be my first point on the locus of B. So, this is B 2, B 2 dash say B 2. Now, as I have my first point, what I will do is I will draw a locus. So, this would be my locus of B. I will draw this line a little dark so that it is visible. So, this is my locus of B dash and the lining the line joining them would be my true length for the top view. So, I will draw this and this would be my true length. Now, as I have my true length, I can get my top view. How would I get my top view? So, I have also P L marked here. So, when I rotate P L, I would get top view. So, I take my compass and take my compass, I rotate my P L and I get my top view. So, this would be my top view and this point is A B. Now, from this question if you observe our front view and top view should be in the same line like this. like this they should be in the same line and also A dash and A are in the same line. So, if B and B dash are coming into a same line that means our question is correct. Now, there is one information that we have to find that is phi. So, phi is the angle associated with V p that is in the top view that is angle associated with the top view in the true length I mean of true length in the top view. So, I have this A and B 2 to be the true length in the top view. So, I will take my compass
I will set this and this is my angle. So, this angle is 41. So, my phi is 41 degrees. So, this is how we this is how we solve a problem where we have datas in discrete format it is given. So, like both the angles that is theta and phi is not given together then one angle and one front view is given to us. So, how we combine the data and how we solve the problem is here. Thank you, hope you understood.